Hello everyone, in this video we are going to solve the first question of exercise 9.5 and in this video we are solving the first two parts of this question. In this we have to use a suitable identity to get each of the following products and this is the first term and this is the second term you have to find its product means you have to multiply this with this and you have to find the result but using a suitable identity similarly here also you have to multiply this with this and you have to find the result and to solve this we are using this identity which is a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab or this can be also written as a square plus 2ab plus b square these two are similar terms or you can say similar things okay now we have to use this to solve this now first of all let me explain you how this identity is formed and how it, it makes easy to solve these kind of questions now this a plus b whole square basically means this same term is multiplied twice means if there is written as x square this x square basically means x multiplied with another x similarly if here it is a plus b whole square this means a plus b multiplied with a plus b now if i want to multiply this we have already discussed in the previous videos or in the previous chapters that whenever we have to multiply two terms with two terms here it is one and plus and here it is one and plus so to multiply this we have to multiply this with both the terms means you have to multiply a with a so a multiplied by a will give a square because a multiplied with a when bases are same and we are multiplying those two numbers or you can say those two terms so their power gets added so this will give a square plus when a multiplied with b so a into b is ab plus now similarly you have to multiply this another term with both the terms so b multiplied with a is again ab and similarly b multiplied by b will give b square so this will be a square these are like terms ab ab so we can add them we know that like terms can be added so 1 ab plus 1 ab will be 2 ab and this will be b square so this is same as this so whenever the terms are or can say the expression is this form we can directly write it as in this form we don't need to write this step because whenever the terms is this the final result will be in this form so there is no need to write this middle term we can skip this term and we can directly use this formula now here these two terms are same so this multiplied by this can be written as x plus 3 ka whole square now this is same as this which is a plus b whole square where a is equal to x and b is equal to 3 so if you want to multiply this or you can say if you want to further solve it we can directly use the formula which is a square plus 2ab plus b square r a is x square plus 2 into r a is x into b is 3 plus b square now this will be equal to x square and this my multiplied number with number will get 6x and 3 square is 9 so this will be the answer for this first question now similarly if you want to solve this this is same these two terms are same so same term when multiplied we know that this can be written as 2y plus 5 ka whole square so 2y plus 5 ka whole square this is basically a plus b whole square where our a is 2y and our b is 5 now we know that 
a plus b का होल स्क्वायर इज बेसिकली इक्वल टू ए स्क्वायर विच इज टू वाई प्लस टू इंटू ए विच इज टू वाई इंटू बी विच इज फाइव एंड प्लस बी स्क्वायर एंड आर बी इज फाइव सो दैट वुड बी फाइव स्क्वायर दिस इज सेम एज ए प्लस बी होल स्क्वायर This is a plus b whole square. This is equal to a square, which is this plus b square, which is this plus two into a into b. So this is the formula which we are using, and we have converted this expression into this format. So now we can simply solve this. Two by square means two ka square is four, and y ka square is y square. this we have already discussed that whenever if that is x y whole square this is square means this is this is square is on both the variable so that would be x square or y square and this is same as x y ka whole square so similarly if this is 2 y square means 2 square 4 y square y square and this is Number when multiplied two into two is four into five is twenty multiplied with y and five ka square means five into five is twenty five so this will be the answer for this second part so similarly we can use certain identities we have further two or three more identities by using them we can solve these kind of questions in the next video we will use the identity directly. i hope you have understood how this identity is formed in this case if this is negative same procedure is followed and for that a minus b whole square will become a square minus 2ab plus b square so this will be the identity when there is negative sign and to form this we have used this same procedure to come to come to this conclusion so this is how you can solve these questions thank you